crab dish. This is the Southern Italian or Sicilian crab pasta dish. You start off with a few cloves of garlic. You've got to cut them good fella style. Unfortunately, I'm not the, uh, the most adept with my hands. Normally my beautiful wife Janine does it, but uh, she doesn't want to be on camera, so I've taken it away much to her disgust. But anyway, I'm going to make my best attempt at it. This is my uh, Russian garlic that I grew, harvested last November. So now I've just got to get the skin off it. I don't want to smash it like I normally do with the garlic to get the skin off. So I'm just going to try and keep these slices intact, so bear with my uh, clumsiness. Right, because it's lovely fresh sort of garlic, it's, um, it's a bit sticky on the skin. The, old, the older it gets, the easier the skin comes off. So anyway, I might even, excuse me, but I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see what I'm actually doing. Try and slice this really nice and thin. It's the razor blade seen out of Goodfellas. thinness that you need to slice the garlic and I'm not going to make you sit through the whole of this because you'll go crazy. Well Janine's had to step in and uh, finish off the garlic slicing because she has the fine motor skills that I lack but here it is some beautiful Australian extra virgin olive oil and um, that's five small relatively small by Russian garlic um, standard cloves sliced up in the olive oil and now we're just going to put that onto a very low heat. So all, all we want to do is just infuse that oil with the flavor of the garlic. We do not want to cook it. We don't want to brown it at all. It's just got to slowly warm up and get that nice garlic flavor into the oil. Well, the next job is to take the zest off one lemon. One of the beautiful lemons off my lemon tree. It's a Eureka lemon, particularly nice juice Fantastic for preserving lemons. Beautiful flavour they have. They have the main crop through the through the winter, but we we're here we are in early April. We're still getting the first of the good lemons off it. So don't go too far into the white bit, which is a bit bitter. We're just taking the zest off. And we won't put this in until right at the end. And we're stirring our pasta up so that nice oil that comes out of the zest, the lemon oil, will give a beautiful flavour. I wish you could smell this because this fantastic aroma of lemon oil coming off this lemon. And I'm just using a, a parmesan grater to take the zest off so we've got a really super fine. And we're trying to get all the beautiful zest off this lemon. A reasonable amount anyway. We've also used the lemon juice but we won't do that until we're right near the end as well. It's a beautiful fragrant dish this mud crab and again we're not trying to kill the mud crab we're just using flavors that really enhance the, the taste of the crab. The crab is the star, beautiful fresh crab. I just put it all afternoon picking it. We're saving the claws for tomorrow night we'll have another might have a bit of beer battered fish or something like that with a crab claw entree, something something seafood orientated. Been a terrible season with all the rain that we've had this year. I can't go diving. I can't go and shoot any fish with my spear gun. It's too early for lobsters. So we're um, we're eating beautiful stuff out of the freezer. Except for these mud crabs, which have been going crazy with the flood water, so we've taken advantage of that. We've had a good haul over the last couple of weeks. But I think this will be the last crab dish. We're just about crabbed out. And crabs are one of those things that don't keep really well. So you want to eat them while they're fresh and then leave the rest in the water. All right, here we are. This is our lemon zest. Just give you a look at the uh, consistency of that. I won't put the parsley up just yet. 
we'll wait till the last minute we're going to put it in our dish and that is it for the moment we'll come back a little bit later and we'll show how it all goes together all right we've got our pasta water up to the boil so once it's up to the boil we're just going to add a about a dessert spoon full of salt Now we're going to put our pasta in the pot. I use a tubular spaghetti. So I just think it cooks a little bit more evenly. You can use fettuccine, anything you like in this dish. Whatever your favourite is. Alright, so we'll just mix that around and cook that pasta. That'll be about six or seven minutes. We'll just test it till it's al dente. In the meantime, now that we've just put the pasta on, we'll just turn the heat up a little bit more on this garlic and oil. And just get that, we don't want that browning again, we just want that a little bit warmer so it's just cooking a little bit more. Right, so we're just gonna juice our lemon. Get that just sitting in the juicer ready to add at the last minute in our pasta dish. One half, beautiful, fragrant. Eureka lemons. Alrighty. This can go back on the compost. Alright, so we keep stirring our pasta, make sure it's well separated as it's cooking. You can tell a little bit from how it's going with the texture, whether it's ready to test or not. This has only been on for a couple of minutes. So we'll let it go a little bit more before we start testing it to make sure it's not overcook, the worst thing you can do with pasta is overcook it. Alrighty, so our pasta, we've tasted it, it's just al dente. So take it off the heat, we leave it in the water, you don't drain it, you take a little bit of the excess water off, straight in the hot pan, and it's up a bit. Into the pan. All right, we've probably got enough pasta there for what we need for this dish. We're going to stir it around. And now we're going to add our lemon zest and our chopped continental parsley. Or you can smell that oil come straight off that. Make sure we get it all in. Just tossing this around. We don't want to cook this too much longer because the pasta is already just about ready. Stir this right through. And now we've got our juice of our lemon, which I'm just going to grab. First off, of course, we're going to whack the crab in. And our beautiful bit of crab. Give that a toss around. Let it all come together. Don't go too hard on it, you don't want to break that crab up, you want to have that beautiful flavour. Wow, it's starting to look fantastic. Alright, now we'll get the lemon. You really got to juice that beautiful Eureka lemon. I'm just going to keep my fingers here to stop any, because I think there's one recalcitrant tip there. And that's pretty much it. So here we go, we'll just finish stirring that up and let that crab just warm right through in the pasta and then we'll be ready to plate up. Magnificent. Really got the crab really warmed. I think we're right there. Turn off the heat. And extra crab here. Look. The bowl. Oh, 
I put it all over the all over the stove. Crab on this one. And there we go, we've got our beautiful bowls of crab pasta ready to go. And what do you think, Chrissy? Does that look alright? It looks amazing. I know that any Italian will kill you if they see you putting uh, cheese on the seafood, but what do you reckon? Does it taste good? Let's see. Mm, really good, James. Excellent. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Very good.